today we are going to paint something in thin air using light. So in this case, what we're going to do is use a camera. Uh, it could be your mobile camera. My particular mobile phone has a camera where I can go and change a few settings on it. Um, so what you would need is actually uh, put a settings where it's around 8 to 10 seconds of exposure and your room is dark. So that is what this dark color represents here. Um, set the ISO to the smallest number possible. In my case, I used an ISO of 100 and white balance of daylight. So let's say in a dark uh, room, you have two subjects, A and B, and A is always stationary and B is moving. So in uh, when we uh, start taking the photograph and when this is happening, that is B is moving and A is stationary, what you would uh, expect to see is probably B moving all around and uh, you will have the position of B flying at different positions and A is the stationary. So what this means is anything that moves gets out of the picture and anything that's stationary just is captured. Because uh, this photography is an additive process for around 8 to 10 seconds. Um, so this means that all this is going to vanish and only thing that is stationary is going to show up. So in our case, what we're going to do is we're going to have some LEDs and we're going to light up a certain portion of um, the, the frame that we're trying to take the picture of. Uh, let me go into details of what we're doing here. So the first thing I would like to introduce you is this E1.31 protocol. I made a whole video about what this project is. Um, so you can go and uh, look at the links that I'm going to put up here. So what this is, is you can send data, RGB data, to different pixels directly on a strip. In our case, for this particular set a project uh, we uh, i had 120 leds uh, on a strip so this is what we're going to use so we just need this one universe and then keep sending data to this particular universe so the hardware setup is very simple uh, it's the same as the previous case except that i'm not tethered uh, to the wall with a power connector and so the power is supplied by a 3.7 volts to 5 volts boost converter circuit which in turn is connected to a lipo battery uh, charging circuit and this, uh, uh, the plus and minus of uh, the battery is connected to the B plus and B minus of this particular board. Um, and this is a 18650 LiPo battery with a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts. And this can give an output of around 1 amps um, of continuous current uh, possible through this particular circuitry. So basically this means that this whole thing can be mobile. Uh, so we just like um, put this into an enclosure and leave the strip out. So uh, you can go and check uh, this particular uh, firmware that is required for this. I'm going to leave the links below. And all this is linked to my previous video that I have posted regarding this E1.31 pixel pusher. So all I have to do is upload that particular firmware onto your ESP8266. So this is the hardware setup. So this is just, uh, since this is just a temporary um, enclosure, so what I just did is put it put all this inside a black enclosure that is here and then taped it up to a stick of an easel. Uh, so the LEDs are again, um, stuck on top of this particular wooden uh, LED block that is shown here. So basically the strip is uh, 120 LEDs and this strip that I bought had 144 LEDs per meter. So this is slightly less than a meter uh, that is stuck on here using um, tape and all this other circuitry is inside this black box. So let's look at uh, the picture. So let's say we have a picture which is 120 um, uh, pixels uh, long and 120 pixels wide. Uh, so basically uh, what we're going to do is then cut this uh, uh, as a uh, like a strip of information. So basically we can get the red, green and blue information for each pixel inside this particular picture and uh, then we would try to display it. So the idea is to then um, send this data, that is the red, green and blue data for 120 pixels along the height directly to this uh, pixels on the NeoPixel strip. So we're going to use E1.31 uh, protocol to do this. Uh, so what this means is as we slide around, we're going to send this RGB data continuously wirelessly to this particular uh, format. So what you do is as 1.31 data comes in, you turn on your photography um, equipment. It could be a camera or your mobile phone. 
uh, start capturing the picture of around eight to 10 seconds. And then you move this particular setup from one end of the room to the other end of the room in the field of view of your camera. So what this looks like is what you're actually seeing here. So basically in the darkness, so what you will see is as this data comes in, you're going to see each strip of uh, this information shown on the screen. So eventually what is being captured is what you're looking at here. So as and when this information is shown on the camera, it's an additive process and this particular uh, picture is painted in thin air and this is what it looks like so this is like me walking around the room and as this data is being transferred so I have said that this data transfer is around uh, five seconds uh, so out of those eight uh, seconds the five seconds is me walking around since I'm moving I am not visible in these pictures but everything that is stationary that is visible so I have blurred out the, the background so let's look at the setup here so in the setup what we would need is a, a is a computer that has X lights installed on it and then whole bunch of JPEGs. So I will, I'm going to show you how I edit the JPEGs and how this particular information is sent through X lights to our um, setup for our new pixels. So before you even send any kind of information uh, through X lights, you probably have to edit um, the picture that you're trying to send there. So what you would do is you can download any picture that you want to send and then um, try to make anything that is that you don't want to see as black. So the, anything that is black is going to be transparent. Um, then you need to go to image. So this is just a Photoshop. Uh, uh, in, so I'm just using Photoshop to edit this particular picture. So here, just go and change your image size and set the height to be 120. In my case, because I had 120 LEDs, that's why my height is 120. So this is a variable. So go ahead and change this to how many of our LEDs that you have and just click OK. So what this is going to do is resize your picture. Then I just create a rectangle at this particular corner. So this would mean that um, this is going to show as red light, which means that I can actually start moving when I see this red light at the last few LEDs on one end of the stick. So that is why I just put uh, red lights over here. So that gives me a cue to actually walk over uh, in the view of the camera and then click on um, the shutter as uh, as I'm uh, getting this data, E1.31 data for this particular light. So what this is is actually 120 pixels over how much our length of your uh, picture is. So we're going to give this data as uh, strips and that particular data is then transferred through E1.31. So on X lights, the configuration is very similar to what I had on previous uh, video. So you define your IP address, then you define your layout. In this case, this is a matrix with 120 LEDs. And uh, remember to put in the correct um, order of your LEDs over here. Um, and then what we, what I do is actually uh, in the timeline, just drag and drop this particular, that is pictures, put it in here, and then select the picture you want to send. Okay, um, so what it is doing is actually sending a strip of that picture uh, from uh, right to left. So I hear I'm choosing the information that is movement from right. Okay, um, so I don't do any other changes. And what happens is it slides the picture and keeps sending that strip directly to your setup. So the only thing that I would mention is uh, reduce the brightness all the way to probably 15 or 20. Uh, any number between 15 and 20 works really well. Um, so the brightness is just high enough that the picture is captured really well on your camera. And here is what you see as a few samples.